deep, deep in Austin, Texas, where you grab your luchador mask and merkin, it's gonna be a great night. We love Cooter, by the way, so pop out those jingle jangles, and here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Yay! Slogan of Cooter Scooters. That's right, there's scooters for the cooter. Scooters for your cooter. Scooters for the cooter. Make yeah. sure that you eat Soylent, our new sponsorship. <laughs> yep. Soylent loves when I talk about cooters. Dog when shit you, uh, is when, dog shit. <laughs> dog shit is dog shit. When you think of, of scooter cooters, think Soylent. Soylent. It's We're, the number yeah, one uh, scooter uh, cooter lubricant. <laughs> it's the number one scooter cooter luber. Yeah. <laughs> scooter cooter luber. It's the Uber of scooter. Scooter, 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 scooter Lubers. Lubers. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Soylent. Soylent. Just uh, uh, yeah. every time you see a dog dead on the road, think of Soylent. Yep. That's our slogan. Look at it right in its eye and say, I'm better than you because I, I drink Soylent. Uh, <laughs> thank you to our biggest sponsor. <laughs> yep. Soylent. Right the on. Soylent. Oh, and Soylent. <laughs> right the on. <laughs> I've got an in at Raytheon, by the way. Do we you? need an in at Raytheon. I've got an in. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah, but, but, but it <laughs> might want, be. It might, I will get in on Raytheon. If Raytheon came to us and said, we want you to promote bombs and guns and forever wars, yep. would you take the gig? Uh, well, I mean, I think I think the important part is yeah. how to get in, and that's with some scooter, cooter, cooter looter. looter. <laughs> that's how you get yep. in yep. with Raytheon. Yeah. Raytheon, the number one fan number of one. Soylent. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Soylent, for lubing up Raytheon. Lubing it. Soylent and Raytheon. Boy, two peas in a pod. Like like Jesus and a good Taliban. <laughs> that's uh, oh. old scooter, cooter, luber. Taliban yep. jokes, huh? They're back. Are they? Taliban jokes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Taliban yeah. jokes haven't been around since the early aughts. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we could do Daisy Dukes instead. <laughs> were those? I guess they were around yeah. the early aughts because the movie I came would say, out. All right, hold on. <clears throat> the Taliban is like the Daisy Dukes. You want to do, do, do a routine real quick? <laughs> uh, thought it was. Go ahead. Go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, go. Uh, <laughs> by, the, by the way, behind screen, I just saw this from Brett. I just know I moved the. <laughs> I was like, I gotta see this. Move the mic out of the way. You uh, y'all, y'all, y'all see the 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 Taliban? <laughs> I think, are you doing a bit or? I mean, we're playing. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ah, I look at them and I'm like, Newman. <laughs> ah, <laughs> this segment brought to you by Come Scooter Cooter Luber. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Soylent. Everybody drink Soylent. Everybody drink it. Everybody drink Soylent. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> drink Soylent. <laughs> Come on, man. Just drink it. <laughs> so have, you ever, how, have, you, have you ever drank Soylent? Uh, reminds me of a funny story. <laughs> oh, God. Does it? No. No. Uh I uh no, look, I I've had I've had I've had a protein shake. It is it is <laughs> slim fast for uh, for, millennial for idiot boys. suckers. For idiot suckers who think they're the first people to ever figure out slim fast. Yes. Are you under 30? Are you dumb? Do you have too much money? <laughs> Are you unfamiliar with the joke of scooter cooter good lubers? Then fuck you, here's Soylent. Also, Raytheon's great, and Forever Wars are awesome. <laughs> oh President God. Grandpa, <laughs> it's somehow somebody else's fault that the Taliban are in charge. Brought to you by Soylent. <laughs> that took a brief sojourn into Newsmax, but we came back. <laughs> Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I love Soylent. I, it's, I, it's I, I, why do you keep bringing I, up Soylent? I was just you just keep bringing up Soylent. I was just trying to get I'm it, trying to uh, talk yeah. about the Taliban. You're Let's trying talk to talk about, about the Taliban. Oh, All right, they here we love go. Soylent. <laughs> <laughs> that was the number one thing. They were running into Capitol and they were saying, like, we forgot our Soylent. <laughs> Did you see how? We forgot our Soylent. I love Soylent in the fridge since 2001. <laughs> there Did so anybody see my Soylent? <laughs> You're like, oh, I wish I could run faster, but I just, I have only the right amount of calories. It's me, the Taliban. I'm the Taliban. <laughs>
Shit. Man, yeah. they must be so tired. Yeah. <laughs> tired of this joke. Yeah. Brought to you by Soylent. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Soylent. Uh, I can I can commiserate with the Taliban now, apparently. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. All right. Jesus. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I think I see their point. No, no. Uh, we only have one topic in our in our in our opening of the show. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Uh, we call it our Soylent topic of the day. <laughs> What? Uh, uh, let's go to the big Soylent board. Soylent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just How this, are you going to land this plane? You know what's coming next. <laughs> Soylent, why did you do this to our friend Mike? <laughs> right. I'm just going to shit out him forever. That's ever. fine. That's fine. Uh, uh, in, in all seriousness, uh, uh, everybody uh, who listens to this show, who has listened to this show for a long time, uh, knows Mike TV. Mike TV has been a part of our program now for 10 years, right? Literally tonight. To uh, the week. As, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I believe Patrick Delahanty is running the NSFW show 10-year archive uh, uh, Twitter uh, where he pointed out that I believe that that was the first time they were a guest on the show. Uh, for Get Set Go, they came on for the Summer Music Series 10 years ago uh, while I was in a, 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 a sweaty-ass warehouse in Margate, Florida, and, and you were just had just built your uh, room out there. And, Still also in a sw- sweaty-ass bedroom, spare bedroom. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, your bedroom. By the uh, way, neither of which are sweaty-ass anymore, thanks to our friends over at Soylent. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, uh, keep just, going. Just Soylent. Keep going. <laughs> just, you know, just Soylent. No, nope, uh, nobody else. He's got un- Soylent Tourette's. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, last uh, over the last twenty four hours, uh, Mike had a a, a real scare. Uh, I got a I got a text message from a mutual friend uh, early yesterday morning saying that he was in the ICU and nobody knew uh, what which, was going on. Which which by the way, and this is this is I, I'm gonna if I say this is no bullshit, it's gonna make it sound like everything I say is about to be bullshit. Uh, uh, I found out yesterday that there's something called the STICU, which I did not know, uh, was shock trauma ICU, the shock trauma intensive care unit. Uh, and uh, you know, me casually after our conversation thinking, yeah, maybe I'll just uh, breeze on in and give a little visit to our friend uh, of yeah. Mike TV and then just Go do a jaunty show about TV shows, um, and this instead, was yesterday, yeah. yeah, and instead, it's like uh, all of that experience was so familiar to me that I, I just was broken, and because uh, the, uh, the 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 J stuff. Uh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. and and, and, or, and, and uh, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of people. We we've all had a lot of loved ones over the last year and a half. Um, who have had rough times and so go into a hospital and uh knowing the right questions to ask to say okay hi i'm here to find so and so doing doing a routine and whatever <clears throat> uh uh but man that moment of of coming into the room and seeing mike's uh smiling face and, and well yeah being I mean, that, that was place. that was i mean that was that was after there was there was a long period in between where we didn't know we what was didn't going know. on we, we didn't had know no nothing. idea even what was happening we just knew that he was uh found uh we didn't know how long he was uh he was he was out there he was in the hospital uh, uh, i i think all we knew was the words skull fracture yes pool of his own blood yes unknown time that he was out there correct yeah and so then we did a podcast where we talked about aliens and sasquatch for a little bit we did and yeah, then we, we, we did we did the weird things podcast so i think i told you right before the weird things podcast then we do the weird things podcast uh and then we both go get ready to go see him uh because visiting hours here because of covid are only between five and eight and you can only have one, one person, person. at yep. a time uh and and boy like you just said it was the the most amazing sight to see mike not only uh in you know a his you know, he only has one speed like like mike tv in in general is just like hey man what's going on yeah okay cool yeah all right yeah all right yeah it's awesome yeah okay cool and it's like walked in and then this is uh, so i text him he finally gets his phone charged because that was the problem the reason why i know it here heard from him because his phone died and so uh i'm in the lobby 
of the hotel, and I'm trying to figure out where he is. And so he had, as I was on By the way By hotel, there, you, of course, mean hospital. Hospital, Jesus. Yeah. Hospital. And, uh, uh, but I'll tell you what, man. Which, 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 which explains why I couldn't find the bar. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, they, and they served shockingly little Soylent, yeah. I'll say. So uh, uh, I'm, I'm at the, the lobby of the hospital, and as I was driving there, he had just started texting the group chat again. And so I texted him, and I'm like, uh, hey, man, I'm in the lobby. I want to come see you. What's your room? And he texts me the room, and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm on my way up. And he just sends back a text message that I will remember forever because of how it made me feel. Woot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, I've never been happier to get a woot because, like, I'm like, that immediately explains, like, there's so much cognition that's going on, and you have no idea whenever somebody has a head injury, like, like what's going to happen? The brain is such a fucked up organ that, like, uh, uh, you, you don't know. I know if, if you're texting woot, to I'm coming up to see you. I'm like, all right, like yeah. this is already going great. And we and I get up there, and he looks like a pile of shit, but he is <laughs> like, he is uh, uh, exactly Mike TV, and it's, I was so thrilled. Uh, I, I I remember thinking, clear Isabel, uh, this ain't nothing that five gallons of uh, 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 Soylent can't solve. <laughs> Thank you, Soylent. Uh, no, uh, it, uh. It was a really precious and special moment um, because there's that uh, that moment of recognition of of cognizance and lucidity and of somebody who has a deep uh, striving hunger to get back in the game. Um, because uh, whenever uh, and and as a matter of fact, we have a we have a bit of a mystery on our hands as far as what actually happened uh, because there's a gap of missing time and that's to be expected when you know. You, you have a massive concussion, and Correct. yeah. Uh, so uh, before we go any further, uh, Bryce, can you please put it back up on the screen uh, the the GoFundMe because uh, Mike again is an independent musician. He is somebody that is uh, only making money if he's on uh, Twitch, and right now that is not going to happen for for a while. So bit.ly slash help Mike TV again. That is bit.ly slash help. Mike TV, if you can uh, uh, chip in a dollar, five dollars, if you've ever listened to this show and you've enjoyed the the ending lullaby uh, and, and it, it's made you happy, then please consider throwing in uh, a little bit. We have done three versions of this show, and each and every time Mike TV has, without pay and without question, uh, provided not only the lullaby for the end of the show, but also any other musical accompaniment shows up that we have ever wanted. At any moment we have the opportunity. He is one of our our most treasured uh, 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 gems, a jewel of 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 chat realm, uh, which makes me really upset that to date, uh, Soylent has given us no money. <laughs> <laughs> at all, <laughs> despite the fantastic advertising. And uh, that gorgeous laugh that you have just heard is indeed the man himself who feels <laughs> up enough to call us right now. Mike, how are you feeling? Hey everybody! I, no, I'm I'm doing great. I could use some more soil in my life. I, God I damn it! No, no, 100%. you don't give him another yeah. fucking word. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, so for everybody that has has now been aware of it, all all the fans on your Twitch and and everybody who loves you here in this community, uh, uh, can you tell people from your perspective? Yeah, uh, 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 how how yep. do you feel and what happened? Uh, yeah, what do we know? What do we not know? How are you feeling? Uh, what do you? What, how do you want things to go from here? Yeah, you know, you know, in fact, okay. So, so let me give you a little bit of of, of uh, backstory. So, I was hanging out with Curtis LaRock, who's in, who's in the chat right now, and and um and Sunbun and his and Sunbun's girl, and we were all we were all of us just kind of chilling out, having a good time, and we we made our way to the um. Where, where well, no, the, no, no, not, no, not 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 Sunbun and his and his girl because they're in California. Uh, no, 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 he, they, he showed up. He's here. Oh, he was, oh no, he was here. Oh no, no, oh, yeah, he was yeah, there last on Sunday. I will. I will say. Oh, yeah, I guess I was. All three of them. None of them were having Soylent. No, no, I'm sorry. That wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't Sunday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm conflating stuff. My my brain. So so again. So my brain has been scrambled like like a like like eggs just ripped like into a batter, and I'm like, okay, this is this is delicious. This is my memory now. Um and and so um. Yeah, so I, I I was I was with Curtis LaRock at the O Four Lounge, and we were having we were having a couple cocktails, and I do recall I I only had a couple, but I do recall they were really stiff, 
And I was like, wow, that's crazy. These things are really stiff, but that's okay. That's fine. And I, and I was like, I, and, and I remember, I remember like pounding the last one cause I had to go, you know, like I didn't, I didn't want to leave Sue. And I, and I don't, I don't remember much of the ride, but I do remember as I was about to hit the road, right where I get right, where I had my accident, I remember hitting that and, and carving on that, on that thing and really enjoying this like intense carve going 20 miles an hour in my, on my very fast scooter, you know, cause it's like this. So uh, I was, this is amazing. Uh, 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 real quick. Uh, uh, this is on the sidewalk or the street or where it's are on we? The str- it's on the, it's on the street. Now, now it's on the street, but I was, so, I was so in, from, 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 was, from the bike lane the, of Congress. I was in the bike lane. Yeah. I was in the bike He's, lane. He is making was, a turn into another a more residential street that, that that does not have a denoted bike lane. Right. Yeah. And and, and it, the, the the bike lane does kick it kick back in like 50 yards down the way, but but it but right where I'm at, right where I got hit, there was no bike lane, but I still stayed on the bike lane side, and which I always do. Like I'm I'm very cautious. I do recognize that people often ignore dog walkers and and often ignore scooters, and so I'm usually I'm usually super careful and I saw that there was no one there was no cars around, which is why I took that turn the way I did. So I was like, this is great. And then, and then I don't remember what happened. So what, what, we've, what we've managed to f- sort out thus far is it seems like I was blindsided. Somebody was leaving the parking lot with, uh, of, of a, place, uh, a place where I have noticed that people will barrel out of that parking lot without paying attention to what's happening on the sidewalk. And they'll be going, they'll be going like 15 miles an hour. And it's, and it's always, it's always very frightening when I'm walking. So I'm like, man, if you were not paying attention, if I wasn't paying attention, you would have killed me and my dog, you know, that kind of thing. So I was always, I was always a bit angry when I, when I would, when I would make that. And and by the way, let me just say this about Mike TV's dog, which I just met a few weeks ago. Never had. So it is a small horse. Like yeah, 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 it is yeah. like if he thinks that it, that uh, a, a, a moving car would have killed that dog, then that thing is going at least seventy miles an hour. <laughs> I, I feel I feel like that dog could take a twenty mile an hour uh, Corolla to its ribs and wouldn't even do anything but fart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's exactly right. And 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 he is, and he's he's a he's a real big big dog, and and he does he does command attention from you know, and so and so, which is funny. So so because of that, because I, I walk him six times a day, I, we're we're sort of like rock stars in our neighborhood. Like, like the people that are walking or people that are hanging out in front of their place, like they always comment on Sue and there's constant conversation. So, so for me, it was crazy. I would get hit in front of that building where I have lots of interactions with people and I would be literally splayed out on the ground in the middle of the road in a pool of my own blood. And no one reached out to the cops or like no one. So, sought so, to me. so like, Mike, uh, uh, yeah. And this, uh, we we have not gotten a chance to talk about this, but uh, we will we will uh, do it here, based on the timeline that I was able to put together with Curtis and when you were checked in. Yeah. I think that 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 is what happened. I think that somebody yeah. saw you get hit, and then somebody called the 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 cops immediately, and and you were you were taken because uh, if 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 what Curtis was saying, where y'all left around two. You were checked into the hospital by two thirty, yeah. and that means that there really wasn't a ton of time. And 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 I'm very very thankful that that's the case because God knows, especially when you're losing blood uh, after you've had a few, that is that is a dangerous thing. So I I, and, I, do, and I, was, I I do think that it was the kindness of strangers that got you into the hospital as soon as possible. Amen. You know, and that, yeah, and that is and that is great. That is and and, and you know, and I haven't I didn't I haven't really made piece that together. So that, that's good. that's actually really good to know because I was I was unresponsive. And yeah. I was having trouble. I was having trouble breathing, and that's why they intubated me. So, so if I had been going through that on the street, um, yeah, that would uh, that would have been that would have been which we're, potentially, we're, we're, potentially we're, 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 fatal. We're, we're, you were found. I mean, based on and again, uh, uh, we are we are efforting currently the police report. So, by the way, if we have any listeners in the Austin Police Department <laughs> yeah. that wants to make sure that we can get that police department, there is a current service request to get that uh, police incident report. Uh, but but so far from from what we've been able to piece together with our own just uh, sleuthing, uh, uh, you were you were put in the hospital as soon as possible, but you were found on the street uh, unresponsive, which is yeah, I mean as scary as you could possibly. So I, I I was surprised when we were chatting yesterday that you mentioned that you had been intubated uh, and and that you had that experience of becoming conscious with with a fucking garden hose down your throat. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, uh, walk me through what that what that 
looks and feels well, in fact, like. In fact, so this happened twice. The very first time I, I came to, while they, were, while they were actively intubating me, it took five nurses. It took five, if I took five nurses, a, a lot of which were male nurses, to hold me down and sedate me as, as I, because I didn't understand what was going on and they're shoving this and, tube and, down my and, throat. And, and let me say, strapping male nurses. Because yes. the, male, the yeah. male nurse that was hanging out with Mike when we were in the ICU, I'm like, if, if this motherfucker could have an OnlyFans tomorrow and make more money doing this, holding <laughs> Mike's dumb ass down. I mean, I, I, I think it would be inappropriate for me to say what liquid meal replacement he was on, but obviously the dude yeah. was taking care of himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, so so, so anyway, so, the experience of waking second, up with a garden hose yeah. down your throat. <laughs> the, 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 the second, the, so the second time around, which was awesome. The second time around, the, uh, there were two male nurses to either side of me, and the one, the one male nurse that was kind of doing all of the apparatus and setting up my vital stuff. He put his he put his hand on my chest, and he and he just say he'd be, he's like, "You're in the hospital. You're fine. You're in the hospital." And so that and it was at that point in time that I I I, I was like I like I was cogent enough to go, "Oh, I'm in the hospital. How did this happen?" And and I remember looking over at the other guy to the to the right of me. And I'm, I'm like, "How did this happen?" And he's, he's and he's like, "It's a long story. Just sit, just lay back and sit tight." And so I did. And so I I, I had the very unusual experience of paying attention to breathing through an intubation tube. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, this is crazy. I'm, I'm taking an oxygen, pure oxygen off of an intubation tube. And it was a really, really bizarre experience. Uh, if we, we, <laughs> yeah, if, because there was only one of us allowed in at a time, you're there, but I was talking about this exact moment <laughs> with Mike TV and, and I was like, was it like you discovered that, that like this thing really helped you breathe? And Mike TV totally unironically was like, yeah, it was like, oh, oh my God, this is like, this is helping me breathe. And I'm like, yeah, they should market it that way. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, so so Mike, uh, I will say that based on if you are only listening to this story so far, uh, you might be worried about exactly what the damage is. Uh, uh, we know for sure you have a concussion. What other uh, injuries have you suffered? So I've got I've got three fractures to my face. Um, they're all they're all above my sinus. So th so they're all they're all kind of right along the sinus line. But they're, you know, um, but they're all, they're all to my skull and they're, yeah, there's three fractures. So, um, so I'm going to have to go see a, a plastic surgeon in a few days for him to look and, to, and make the determination whether, whether I'm going to heal naturally or whether I need to actually get surgery to heal. Um, and so that's, so, so, you know, so it's going to be, it's going to be a pretty, you know, I mean, it's, it's frustrating you know, as as somebody with that operates without, I mean, I I don't get into health issues like this. You know, I mean, I mean, I haven't had I haven't had a health issue like this in in close to twenty years. Yeah. So so this was a so this to find myself again and and just wake up, and be like, where am I? And the guy's like, you're in the hospital. Like that was that was a mind boggling thing. I was like, wait, what? Like this was not this was not on the game plan. Like I, my life is always planned out. I always show up home. I'm always you know like, and yeah, that didn't it that was not. That, that was not the case. And, and it was, and, and it really took me a while to wrap my head around the fact that, okay, this is really serious. And, oh, this is a concussion. And, oh, and so, and so, and because when I had my stroke 20 years ago, I was hyper vigilant over what's going on with my brain. Is my brain okay? Can I, can I articulate myself the way I, can I, can I, can I, can I sing? Can I, can I remember my songs? So I immediately went through that. I went straight back to 20 years ago. And so I ratcheted up, I ratcheted up my lexicon. So I'm talking to them and they're like, so can you remember what you were doing? And I was like, I was like, yeah, well, I was perambulating along, um, you know, I was, I was pr perambulating on Congress when I carved, you know, on, onto Woodward. Yes. Yeah, so they're like, uh, they're like okay. time out really fast. Cause what I would love to believe <laughs> yeah. is like, they're asking you BS questions, but really all you want to do is make sure you remember all of your songs. So you just yeah. like all the people on the street, I hate yeah. you all, all the people that I meet. Uh, uh, so, so uh, in, in those laps that you're doing, have you found any gaps or any, any, uh, I don't know, you find yourself repeating things or anything? Um, so, so I, I am, so it's really funny. In fact, while, while you guys were talking about the love boat, um, I, I was trying to re remember the love boat theme song mm -hmm. and, and I, and I, um, and I, and I realized part I of the healing process. And that's that's I mean, what we are. Mind, that's what we are. Uh, uh, <laughs> the fact that we asked you, uh, uh, are there any gaps and you're like, funny, you should mention that. I was trying to think of the love boat. I'm like, <laughs> you want to know what? You're perfectly fine. <laughs> like that's Just the a good old that you boy. Could tell me well, that, that, uh, well, that everything was going to be, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> 
it, it is it is funny because I normally have like magical recall for certain songs, you know, and so that was a very that was very alarming for me at that point. And I was like, oh, yeah. but and at first and first I was about to panic, and I was like, no, Mike, you've you've just suffered a concussion. Your brain will recover. Just just pull back, you know, just relax. And and it's been crazy. There's been a lot of that in the way my brain works. I'll be talking to people, and I and I and I will I will because again I've ratcheted up my my lexicon and I've made my language now. You know, just make sure that I'm on points and I'm able to deliver elocution the way I want to, you know, um, I'm, uh, you know, I, I will find myself hunting for a word and I'll be like, Oh, what am I doing? I'm like, no, Mike, you gotta just, just, just chill out. You're fine. You suffered a yeah. concussion. You don't have to, you don't have to speak like a fucking professor, you know? And also so, if the only thing that you lose out of this is the fucking love boat theme song, then uh, I, I, yes. think, I think, I think it's a yes. fair trade. Come and knock at our boat. Come and knock We have a boat boat for you. <laughs> Uh, uh, Here's the story of a guy named Seinfeld. All right, so uh, uh, so yeah, but I, can I can I just say can I just, can I just can I just yeah. say say one thing that was that was so awesome about this? So and somebody asked what happened with Sue and like, so I, I do have to say, guys. So I was in significant distress, and literally the word so my so the word got out to my mom. My mom my mom was my was my ICE contact on my phone. My mom reached out to my sisters. My sisters reached out to everybody in my life. You know, like, like, like so very quickly word got out and literally all of my Austin people, all of my friends who I love with all my heart, they just mobilized. It was crazy. I woke up and was just becoming cogent and Justin was there and Ashley was there and Brian was there and Bonnie was there and Trey had, Trey had collected Sue and it was just, it was just magical. It, I can't even begin to tell you how, how loved and how, uh, and how, how the friendship I feel for you guys was already at a point where that was boiling over and, and, and from, and right now it's like, it's just beyond, I, I just, I can't tell you. It's just, it's just, I love you guys with all my heart. And it really, yeah, it just was awesome. It was just awesome. And, and, and yeah, man, I, it, 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 and it, and it gave me a sense of peace when I, when I would have normally otherwise seriously panicked, you know, um, I'm I, you when know, you I otherwise like, like, oh, yeah. would have seriously panicked outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. luckily you are <laughs> fairly calm. Uh, uh, before we lose the thread, uh, right now, uh, gofundme.com slash help Mike TV is that where uh, bid.ly slash help Mike TV is where you go right now. And by the way, thank you, thank you, thank you. We always know the chat realm comes strong with this, and and they have dropped a uh, damn near 5k in, in Mike's lap literally since we started talking. Mm -hmm. So please keep that going. Bit.ly slash help Mike TV again. Uh, uh, this is this is a, a moment of need for somebody that has given you a lot for very very little in return up until this point. Uh, Mike, let me just tell you this. Uh, number one, you're not a friend. Your family. Uh, we are all Amen. here for you. Uh, uh, we 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 care about you a lot and. Uh, uh, I, I will say this now, especially since we are now 48 hours out and you are still using words like elocution, uh, <laughs> you are the luckiest motherfucker on the planet. Uh, Amen. Uh, I, I, I fucking, and I'm, I'm so, so happy. This has been a rough, I, 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 rough year. J Justin doesn't want to get to it, but let me just uh, spell it out for you. None of this is helping Justin's vampire theory of Mike TV. <laughs> All of this is only contributing to his theory yeah, that, exactly. that, yeah. that Mike TV is actually a vampire because not even losing a fucking uh, <laughs> a, 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 a pool of blood on uh, right off Congress Street could stop this man from saying elocution less than He's like, uh, oh, girl, I had died. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. And it, 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 it is, it is funny um, that um, that you know uh, that I, I was, I was so like I, I didn't lose an eyeball. Like, like you know, Bonnie, Bonnie was saying that, that a friend of hers, a friend of hers, had a very similar accident and did lose his eye. You know, like, like, like you know, like. Oh, like, uh, like, as a matter of fact, I believe, uh, uh, I, I think it's public knowledge um, uh, that that's our friend Alex who was in a uh, uh, he face planted off of a motorcycle. And what happened was there was a very tiny fracture that just uh, just did a little pop pop oh. on, uh, and there went his optic nerve, yeah, uh, just like that. So uh, uh, that's 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 really wonderful that that that, that you have two eyes. Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, yeah. So it's just, it's miraculous. I mean, it, it is it is it, it's really truthfully. I'm going to walk away from this with maybe with maybe some scarring, maybe a little scarring. And you know, and 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 these like I might I might have to get a surgery to to like like short my short my skull your but skull is, integrity is, is it, yeah but but he, but even so it that that it to me it's it like again I'm no I'm no expert but it feels I mean I still feel I feel like I'm at eighty percent right now 
you know, now of course I'm on, I'm a heavy pen med, pe, uh, med, uh, uh, pain meds. I'm on, I'm on muscle relaxers, but uh, even uh, so yeah. uh, uh, spoiler alert, you're not, you're not, uh, uh, you're, you're <laughs> yeah. not at 80%, but, uh, uh, yeah. the, the, the fact that you can, I do think that you can see the end of the tunnel and, yeah. and that considering the state that you were found is a, an, an, an absolute miracle. And, uh, uh, I can say personally, and I know for a fact, uh, uh, everybody here that is in the chat room right now and Brian and, and Jomo and Brett and Bryce and Corey that are here, like, uh, we love you, and and we are so 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 happy that that's the case. Uh, and and, and, and you, we will you, say, brothers. while it is wonderful that you can get surgery to restore facial integrity, there's no restoring our advertising integrity, oh. thanks to the fine <laughs> yeah. folks over at Soylent. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're the best liquid shit ever. Yeah, but when just liquid shit was invented in just, 1910, when, when, it was when a they real invented rough the incinerator, everyone wondered where it went. Yeah. Now we know. Thank Soylent. you, Soylent. Soylent for your health and your mouth. Yes. And, uh I mean unless you're a vampire. In that case, Isn't... you don't need it because you're Mike and you can fucking <laughs> Face plan on the street what? apparently be okay 72 hours later. How fast do we turn on <laughs> bit.ly slash help uh, Mike no, TV? Uh, 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 Mike, uh, uh, we're, we're going to get you out of here because uh, I think we've already spent too much time uh, 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 when you're literally convalescing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, is, yeah. is there any one last thing you'd like to say to the audience? Um, I, I I do have to say thank. So for those for those of you that did donate um, uh, to to my medical bills, I, you know it, it really is coming in handy because I, I I just don't have I don't have the largest to actually d address this. But um, yeah. But so by the thank way, you, thank uh, you, thank uh, largest is Mike's uh, uh, Scrabble word for insurance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't have the, I don't, yeah. But um, but uh, and and um, so thank you. I, I really I I love this community so much. I love I I mean I I I know so many of you personally which is awesome but i but but uh but you know brian justin you guys i, I fucking bryce I, you know jomo i i i brett i like you guys are just mean the absolute world to me and um thank you and i and i will i will go to any length to you know to uh to you know show my love and and support you guys and and all of your endeavors because they're always fun. They're always awesome. And, and, and ah, always feels like but family, there's one you know? length we care about, and that's that you sit your ass yes, down please. and get better. Support us. Support Don't us. Do a goddamn support us thing. By, by laying yes. down <laughs> and fucking uh, taking your pain medication and uh, fucking uh, jerking off if you feel the fucking yeah. capability. Eighty-two percent. That's how. That's yeah. what we want to see. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what we want. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen in the chat room, let's get a gigantic Mike TV. round of applause. Mike TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For Mike TV. We love you, buddy. I love you guys. Thank you we so love, much. Love you, we love you, man. We'll be in thank touch. You so much. All right. Adios. <sighs> I mean, is there anything? Soylent can't be. <laughs> I want a C and D letter from those motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 we've got a Patreon. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's done, called we're bit. Our, our Patreon yeah. is at uh, bit.ly slash help Mike TV. Yeah. <laughs> That's where you can support our show right now. Any and all money. If you want to give us money, please, uh, for this episode specifically right now, go give it to Mike. Bit.ly slash help. <laughs> Help Mike TV. Uh, he's an independent artist who does not have insurance and literally uh, any nor large you can, yes, as, as he was or large yes. well enough yeah. to tell us. Uh, uh, so so please 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 uh, please. We love you, Mike. That. Uh, love hey you. Bryce, do you have a game for us? I have to follow that up. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who's all right, all right. For real, for real. Just tell us who it's sponsored by. That's all you have to do. For real. All right. <laughs> we had we had our pre-show meeting today, and we're like, all right, we're, we're going to talk about Mike TV, and then I'm like, can anything follow that or go after that? And, and, <laughs> and we said like, no. Brian's like, no. Nah. <laughs> I got this story. It's a good story. We're eventually going to tell the story, yeah. and it's like, can it go before or after? And we were all like. No, not really? No, no, not really. Nothing can go before or after. I that. could just shit all over Soylent and then say, yeah. do you got a game for us, Bryce? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a game for y'all. This is a game I like to call Hollywood Walk of Fame or Shame. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys know the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Uh, yeah. I'm familiar. I believe uh, one of our old presidents is on there. Yep. Uh, 
Actually, Charlie Chaplin. Old <laughs> old chapels, they yeah. called him. Chap, chap, chap. Mem- mem- remember, chap, chap. he did that speech. He gave that big speech, and he kept pointing to the sky a whole bunch. Yep. He was like, I'm Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Nobody is better than me. I'm really? the best actor. Like, What's this over there? What's this over there? <laughs> Wait, pointing to the sky. I, I, I'm not going to actually do what looks like a cigar. Anyway, look at me roller skating. <laughs> so, yes, the Hollywood Walk of Fame encompasses. Thinking of Donald Trump. Oh, <laughs> that's who I was thinking of. Because remember, he gets so close to the yeah, edge, and he's yeah, like, whoa. Oh, such yeah. a great comedic no, actor. Did you know yeah. that was painted on? Um, yeah. The Hollywood Walk of Fame is, is tan? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And he's got small hands. The wa- yeah. Hollywood Walk of Fame. By the way, you know when, when you're famous, they let you do it. <laughs> yeah. You can just roller skate right up to yeah. the edge. Right they up let to the edge. They, they all, they all let you do it. Yeah. 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 Uh, the Hollywood Walk of Fame encompasses 15 blocks of Hollywood Boulevard and features nearly 3,000 brass stars bearing the names of actors, musicians, characters, and groups. I'm going to give you the name of an entertainment icon, and you are going to have to tell me if they made the Walk of Fame or face a walk of shame. Ooh. Before we do that, though, there's only Brett, one thing. I just we read, have. Uh, wait, yes. I, I just have a suggestion. Once we make our guess, we're going to say. Show me that brass hole. <laughs> <laughs> Got to see that brass hole. We can brass make a hole. website for it called Brassers. <laughs> <laughs> Price, you need to start a trophy company and call it Brassers. <laughs> and I'll tell you With what, the same you, can, you can give out the trophies, just drive around in a van. Turns like, out hey, when me, we're, get, we're giving away called. trophies. Get in the van. <laughs> Turns out when you Google Brassers, it uh, thinks you want Brassers. So. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 Wait, somebody's mm. taking that on? Oh, wow. Talk God. Oh, SEO. dang it. Uh, Brett, we have a consequence for the loser of this match. There is going to be, am I on? There <laughs> is a consequence. Uh, we are, uh, the loser will have to come up with a improvised song with our guest musician tonight. Okay. But, but I'm assuming you get to pick the theme and it doesn't get to happen until you know how, like, I'm just saying you're, you're King Twister of Titty Mountain Yeah, and and you get to decide (laughs) Okay. All right. Long may I, he reign. Yes, I it will. I, I promise you. King Twister. It won't be mountain. easy. It will not be easy. By the way, I wish people could see this, but we don't have a camera on it. But when we started Great Night, Brett was was new to the dynamic, <laughs> and he was very studious, and he stood right like 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 very close to us. And, and stood up like with the mic as if he was at sure. a spelling bee. And now <laughs> to see how fucking comfortable <laughs> Brett is, he's as, just, as he's he's just lounging he's in the back. back. He's yeah. got the, like, the mic, the radio mic right in his face. <laughs> he is he is fully ensconced in our milieu. I'm a professional. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess uh, we didn't even get to it. I guess we'll get to it in, in the after show. We'll now, talk about it Now, afterwards. mega uh, 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 Evangelion uh, super famous. Yes. Uh, uh, Brett Weaver. All right. So let's go. That's right. So I'm going to give you a, a, a star. You're going to tell me if that's a walk of fame or a walk of shame. First up, Meryl Streep. Brian, we'll start with you. Oh. Streep, baby. Streep. Okay, 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 okay. I'm walking down Hollywood Boulevard, and I'm on the street, and I'm looking at a bunch of stars. Pictures with Spider-Man, pictures with Spider-Man, pictures with Spider-Man. Oh, man. Excuse me, I want Mr. Muscles. X-ray, X-ray, tap, I'm on the street. I'm walking down the street, and I'm thinking of the word streep, and I think. Soylent, Soylent. So distractible. I'm going to say no, she's not on there. Meryl Streep, you know, the greatest American actresses. You're going to be hanging on the Walk of Fame. That's crazy. I mean, you. I'll tell you my secret theory right what? now. What is it? My secret theory is yeah. it costs about thirty to fifty thousand dollars to get your name placed on there, and you have to have an agent that you want to pay thirty to fifty thousand dollars in order to put your name on a freaking tell street. Me, and if you're too Meryl classy, Streep, ain't got somebody that that's going to just do it for her. She ain't got some producer. That wants her to be in a movie where she's like, oh, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a chef or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I have what? a choice to make. You know what? You've convinced me. <laughs> in the at the end of the second act, <laughs> you've convinced me that there is. I I I I've completed the first heart surgery <laughs> and made this omelet. Ah, you do belong right next to reality television star <laughs> Donald <Street>. Trump. Trump. <laughs> yes, I changed my mind. She's definitely on the walk of fame. All right, your answer is correct. She hey. is oh, indeed. That was one of my own accord. I really yeah. fucked myself there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, what of us drank there, Ovaltine? <laughs> Oh, you like Ovaltine? Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Is, is, sure is, it's is, not is that? Uh, 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 Sorry, it's Ovaltine, <laughs> and it's made from blended human ovums. <laughs> Every time a grandmother who dies before menopause dies, <laughs> <laughs> their ovums are collected They're not and <laughs> blended into the world's most delicious competitor to Soylent. It's called Ovaltine, and it's my new sponsor. That's right. Right, fuck you, Soylent. <laughs> I quit. I'm now an Ovum Teen uh, Man. It's the next question, Bryce. Three, two. All right, Justin, here's <laughs> one for you. Charles Chaplin. Mm, I bet he never tasted the sweet, delish liquids. I'm not going along with this for the record. <laughs> Hey. Ovum teen is very weird. Oh, you're yeah. also not being paid by Ovum teen. That's fair. Not yeah. nearly what I'm being paid. What are you being paid? <laughs> Hold on. Let me see what I've got. <laughs> they paid you in cash? Do you have a check? Is there a cashier's check in there? I just bitcoined my butt. I see. <laughs> As you do. Show me that bitcoin. Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta see that bitcoin. Uh, really good Charles for Chaplin, I believe that he does have a star on the Walk of Fame. Probably posthumously because they wanted to make it classy. Your answer is... Correct Amundo and Charles... Uh, excuse me, Sir Charles Spencer Charlie Chaplin. Wait, was he British? Yeah. Yes. Huh. He was English. Yep. Communist, too. What? I don't know. That's what they said about <laughs> that. <laughs> Trank Ovum team. This is, this is what this is what I like to a new bit I call 1930 slander. <laughs> <laughs> Love Stalin. Yeah, exactly. Hitler loved him until he hated him. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's how that. Uh, Brian, we got you for the next one. Ready, oh, ready, ready. I'd like you to tell me about. I'm not a cat. Oh, not, not, not the cat guy. Charles Champlin. What? Oh, you're talking about Charles, the champion, Champlin. 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 Charles oh, Champlin. But I was born a Champlin yeah. man. <laughs> I'm chipping on the bits as the best that I can. I'm like a thoroughbred horse in the War of the Roses again. <laughs> the War of the Roses? <laughs> That's right. I'm a the English, the battle man. <laughs> man. <laughs> Not the race for the roses. I don't which is criticize the your <laughs> heckling during my song. See, I don't think he knows what exactly heckling is. Did, so that makes both of us a little bit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now this more delicious than Ovum Teen. <laughs> and that person Ladies is and not... gentlemen, the man who recommended the, <laughs> the punishment be I have to make up a song on the fly. <laughs> he's warming up. It's a warm up. I know, because he likes doing <laughs> it. Because I've really like, really lost every freaking round. Um, <sighs> no. Charles, Charles, Charles Champy Chamblin. Champlin. 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 This is the guy that invented Nintendo, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, he is not on the Walk of Fame, and it's a real shame. I think he deserves it. The Ovums are to blame. So you're turning against your sponsor? No. That's, are you turning against I, that's women? That's why I drink yeah. them is as punishment for never putting Charles Champy Champion I'm really glad Chamblin. I didn't go down this road with you. <laughs> Cham <laughs> old old Chamble. He left the world in shambles, so he did. Uh, Champles? Oh, yeah, wait, wait, you turn far, it against me. What? Far. Price? <laughs> Your answer of no star is... Ow. Incorrect. Charles Davenport Champlin, an American film critic and writer, has got a star. Wait, a film critic has a star? 
Hey, yeah. if you got thirty thousand really dollars, you got to start, dog. That's right. Uh, uh, oh, he also hosted Film Odyssey for PBS, uh, the series Hollywood for PBS, City Watchers. Uh, hey, oh shit, City Watchers! Oh, God damn, right. we've yeah. yeah. What was hey, your favorite I, episode of City Watchers? I ain't heard no YouTube channels yet. Let's yeah. just move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin. My this, favorite was Spokane. <laughs> this, Justin, this one is for you. Yeah. Carrie Fisher. Now, Carrie Fisher, Carrie Fisher, to Brian's point with Meryl Streep, uh, is probably somebody who might be punk rock enough to be like, fuck you, I'm not going to pay 30000 Also, not a leading lady in the way that Meryl Streep is, so she's not going to get that kind of producer money to be like, oh, we want to put you in a big picture. Okay, what if it was specifically for, it? for the role that she played in Austin Powers 1? So somebody who the producers of Austin Powers won yeah. would be like, we're paying for your... That's right. Yeah. They're like, uh, yeah, you may be Princess Leia in a far time in a galaxy, <laughs> but <laughs> you, time in a galaxy. you in our ba movie, a far time in a galaxy. Don't, don't ruin this for me. <laughs> but, but in our movie, you were a therapist and yeah. Dr. Strangelove. Evil. Yeah. Was talking about a shorn scrotum. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, in that thing. situation. What if they, who would be the they here? I don't <laughs> even know where to go with the improv. Follow like, the money, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> what are we? You know? No, she doesn't have one. Mm. Ooh, this is actually late. Well, not mm -hmm. late breaking news, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You are incorrect wow. yeah. in that she is on the list to be a star this year. Bullshit! Uh, she didn't have one now! So that's no star, but she will have one this year. So, But I get a point! So you get the point. Okay, but, yeah! but, but, but I get the point later this year. <laughs> So whenever whenever this becomes yes. like if it's this close to a tie, yes, then I get the point you later get the point this year. Later in the then year, you're gonna have, then to, sing I have to sing the song. have to sing the song. Look later. at me, yeah. I'm Justin <laughs> making up a song. <laughs> That's that what I look like. When I'm making up a song. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the and dance and Lord, I'm a crazy dance. face lady therapist. <laughs> Please make sure you check out the video, greatnight.tv for this episode. There we go. I can't describe that. Uh, so we'll give we'll give Justin that point. She doesn't have it yet. Apparently, there is a five year wait for posthumous stars. Mm. And this oh. year. All right, we're going on to the next one. Uh, before we do, uh, Brett, what is the score right well, now? Well, Bryce, uh, we of have... all time, give me the give me the score of the heat death of the universe. Well. Okay, it is forty billion. No. Uh, Justin, you have two points ah. with an asterisk. <laughs> Bullshit. Brian. <laughs> Show me that asterisk. Show me that asterisk. <laughs> Got to see that asterisk. And Brian, you have one point. Yeah. Ah, it's okay. Go. It's early. It's, it's early. early. I mean, where else do you go number two but out your asterisk? <laughs> no. I got Who these two. That that's all I need. Okay. That? Okay. That's... <laughs> <laughs> that was a fuck you joke. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, we're coming back to you. The star that you've got is Niecy Nash. Oh, oh Niecy Nash. Ni Niecy Nash. Niecy Nash. Niecy Nash. Niecy Nash. You know Niecy Nash? Reno 911? Niecy Nash. She's on She's Claws. Claws. On... You ain't seen Claws? <laughs> Someone hasn't watched. <laughs> someone hasn't watched a playoff basketball game on TNT. <laughs> That's true. That's true, though. <clears throat> you use it in a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. Niecy Nash is on Instagram at Niecy Nash One. You know what? Holy shit! She's fucking looking good. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, she is not on the Walk of Fame yet. Uh -huh. Ooh, this is oh, I think you might have fucked up, dog. Oh yeah? Yeah, I do. By by doing <laughs> what? By guessing the answer wrong. <laughs> Your answer of no star is incorrect. 
Correct. She's got a star. She's oh. got a star. She paid that money. 2018. Somebody paid that money for Nisi. Uh, she could pay for her own star. I, okay. All right. All right. I'm, I, oh. That's an insult? Oh, but, oh no. That's no, no, no. an insult? I, no, you my, want my, somebody my, to pay. More, more of that, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> She can, More of those. She can support her. It's thirty thousand. Wait, wait. What's the bad part? Like, like, like where, where is it worse? If, if she's paying for her own star, or if somebody's paying for her star? Yeah, well, if you're asking that question, then you clearly have not had your ovum team. <laughs> I regret. I regret starting any thread within like the twenty minute span of ovum team. <laughs> All right, Justin, we're gonna go to you now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't just... say it. Y'all thought it. That's how effective the branding is. Okay. <laughs> Justin, here's some branding. I'd like you to tell me if this person has a star. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy. Well. <laughs> if you find yourself on the Hollywood Walk of Fame between Dustin Diamond and uh, Tito Jackson... You might be Jeff Foxworthy. Uh, yes, he has. Oh, my uh, God. I swear to God, if you got those exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, no, I, I believe. Yeah. Well, the 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 uh, 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 flagship comic of the blue collar comedy tour. The man who tells you that Golden Corral now has takeout boxes. I of used course, to have Jeff a Foxworthy. silver star for my combat service, but then I became spokesman for... <laughs> you're making us say it in our head. I don't know what you're up. talking about. Oh more fucked up. Now uh, I'm saying it. Wait, hold, hold on. Hold on. So Jeff Foxworthy <laughs> really was a combat veteran? I didn't know that. Uh, or are you just making that up? What? what? I, I, everything I've said has been totally true my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> you would do a really good Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> you might be able to do a Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> uh, so your answer was uh, yes? Uh, yes. A... Yes, I do believe that uh, Jeff Foxworthy has a star on the Walk of Fame. The Hollywood Walk of Fame. Hollywood Walk of Fame. And you'll... Always be a oh, loser. Ooh, no, oh, sir. No star oh, for Jeff. Oh, ooh, no, Jeff. Oh. Star. We're having a problematic time. That shit's racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, I'm going to go to you. Ready. Does this actor have a star? Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, 100%. Hundo. Hundo, yeah. Uh, it's a law. <clears throat> nope. Yeah, he just does. <laughs> I mean, it's no, a law. No. He got very rich on one show. Yeah. He doesn't. I mean, aside from B-movie, he doesn't really do, like, other things where he Here's are the weird looking part. to incentivize him. He got him. it for B-movie. <laughs> you think he got it for B-movie? Oh, yeah. 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 He was like, it's a movie. I got money. The B stands for Bitcoin. I mean, which he seems I'm like about somebody that invent. wouldn't even like the ceremony. Yeah. No, he hated it. In I'm fact, just he paid the bees demanded he, he do it. He paid an impersonator <laughs> Everyone to do go it for home. him. I'm just gonna get out of here. That's, yes, no, uh, uh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> How do you do it? Super real. <laughs> uh, if you need me, I'll be in my cellar, the comedy cellar, <laughs> doing a 4 a.m. set. <laughs> you have to understand. Oh, give me a star. <laughs> Why well, isn't an octagon? Oh, <laughs> give me a star. I want you. I, I'm gonna pay you extra to make me hate it. <laughs> <laughs> that a classic Seinfeld catchphrase. <laughs> yep. Make me hate it. Yep. 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 All right, Bryce. Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> does not have a star. <laughs> I told you I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. <laughs> All right. I don't have a star. <laughs> mine don't have a star. It's because I gave mine to Kramer. <laughs> and you should see what he wrote on it. <laughs> 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 Let me just say, he was sponsored by a different company. <laughs> uh, no, he's oh, right. No, back away. It's Siemens. Uh, uh, all right, uh, Justin. <laughs> Justin, I would like you to tell me if Rin Tin Tin has a star. Oh, there is zero doubt in my mind that the 
fucking nostalgia worshiping fucking Hollywood would love nothing more than to put the amalgamation of all the dead dogs that they made <laughs> fucking do tricks in a pre-sanitized Hollywood where I'm sure they just tased their buttholes until they like begged on command. Got to tase that give asshole. that idea a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. 100% lock it in. Rin Tin Tin has a star. Boom. Uh, question? Yeah. No. Uh, no question. <laughs> Granted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your answer is yeah. Correct. Ah, yeah. Rintintin oh, no. was the name given to several related German Shepherd dogs <laughs> featured in the fictional films. Wow. No, also, there are. Uh, 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 it's like giving a start of the General Lee. There was 280 of them, and they crashed one every fucking episode. They Funny killed you say that. all of them. <laughs> General Lee's got a star on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody paid that money. Yeah, but it says in parentheticals, not the real general, but the car <laughs> from the show Dukes of Hazard. The, the idea of the car from the show. We understand this is problematic We understand now, not the other one, but the one from the show, which is, anyway. <laughs> Nothing but love. We're sorry. Visit uh, the gift never shop. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's blast through a few more here. Brian. Ready. Does the band Heart... Have a star nope. on the flat on the walk of nope, fun. nope, nope, nope. Isn't that uh Tom Hanks's wife in heart? No, his wife is Mary Steenburgen. What? His wife is Mary Steenburgen. Oh no, yeah. wait, I'm thinking of Ted Danson. Yeah, Ted yeah, Danson. different, different actor. You yeah. know what? Maybe they have a secret marriage. <laughs> Wife swapping and Red also Rin Tin Tin. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> Wicked the 30 brought to you by Ovamade. <laughs> uh, now it's an aid. Oh, jeez. Now it's over. Maybe you lost the thread. Uh, heart, Brian. <laughs> no, <laughs> still no. <laughs> All right, your answer of no is <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> Given to them in 2012, Anne and Nancy Wilson of Heart. Given. Given to them. Oh, Rita Wilson is his wife. Given not to them. But it was one of the. Did you hear that? He was given to them. Uh, well, that's but, how it works. Yeah. Yes. No, they were given it. Yeah, that's I mean, how they, it's, they, they didn't pay anything. They well, don't have an Apple Pay link on the site. <laughs> like, <laughs> when I buy a milkshake, I am also given it. <laughs> At some point, they have to give it to me. <laughs> uh, why I ought to give I'll you give a you. free subscription to Overmate. Over, over now it's an aid. It, uh, I thought it was yeah, an teen. No. Wasn't it Overmate? No, it just don't question it. Okay. <laughs> just let it go. Like a beautiful comment. In the was sky. that a long con to get me to say Overmate? Is that what just happened? Well, now you've said yeah. both. So said it so I get paid times. either way. Justin. Yep. Dr. Phil. Oh, Dr. Phil Dr. is the Man. worst Dr. doctor. Phil. Now, what you need to do, what you have to do is, why are we all sitting here? A lot of people say I have the worst doctor. I say, have you seen uh, Dr. Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Acula? <laughs> Christopher Eccleston? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <geez. laughs> <laughs> That's offensive. That's offensive. <laughs> I'm noticing that we had to add the permitted term Dr. Hitler to our chat. So, uh, <laughs> that got caught up in auto mod. That's hilarious. We have to add Dr. Hitler so it doesn't get immediately censored out of our chat. <laughs> Justin, um, that's, that this is you, good. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil <laughs> is definitely on the Walk of Fame. Your answer is... That's right. That's right. Given in February 2020. What did he know? Dr. <laughs> Phil McGraw. <laughs> what you need to do is put the yeah. thing on the well, sidewalk yeah, right you know, there. But you didn't do it. Like, I, just, I feel very comfortable with what's happening in Wuhan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I just want to thank, he's holding up a star as an award. He's like, I just want to thank H-E-B for not entering Dr. Thunder this year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that joke, local. that joke yeah. still works You're if you use Dr. Local. Pepper. Like, yeah. it still no. works. Yeah. Wait, no. It's funnier with Dr. Thunder. <laughs> Dr. Thunder's better Dr. than Dr. Thunder's Dr. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Thunder's a funny name. 
Um, all right, we are at through five rounds of gaming. Brett, what are the scores? Wow, have things changed? Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. <laughs> you have four points. Brian. Brian. Yeah. Brian. Yep. I think you need some more Ovum team because you only have one point, bro. Wow. <sighs> or Ovum made. Uh, <laughs> either one. I guess either one. Yeah. yeah. Maybe mix it every, up. Uh, well, you know what? Let me just say every point is sacred. <laughs> <laughs> well, why you keep wasting those other ones? <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go to our uh, triple point round now. Each round will be worth three points. All right. Everybody on, on board. We're going to oh, start with multiple, not, not just one final question. Yeah, we've we'll, we'll, we got a few more here. We got, turns, out, uh, uh, turns out it's a very large list. You can make a very large game, so we'll, we'll, we'll go through here. Jess, uh, Brian. Yep. I'd like you to tell me if Vanna White has a star. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A woman of grace, style, letters. <laughs> Dresses, gloves. Whoa. You were just going to reduce her like that? in that Nelly song? Ooh. Wait, wait, you want to mention her Playboy spread next? Wait, what is this? You're just going to objectify her? I will not stand for that, sir. She was in Playboy? She was. Uh, okay, both of you are terrible people. <laughs> yes. I didn't bring any of that up. <laughs> wait, you, you did. <laughs> you read the Playboy. Mm. Yeah, you did. All I said was that she's a star. <laughs> All right, I mean, you're <laughs> starfish. <laughs> that shows that. Asshole. I mean, I guess it was Playboy, not Hustlers. <laughs> Brian, you're no, we're all having a big show, me, we're all show me that, that butthole. <laughs> <laughs> show me that asshole. No, no, I, I give no energy to this. All right. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't. We yeah, can't, no, 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 look, I, I understand <laughs> no. your new nickname is Dr. Asterisk, but you don't need to <laughs> play it to the hilt. Dr. Thunder oh. was already taken. You said hilt. Uh, so you've said yes to a star. Yes. All right. To a, a wonderful woman. <laughs> your answer is... <laughs> That's you right. You relate to Vanna White? Uh, you know what? I relate to Vanna White, and that's all I need to do. Okay. There was this one time, like, oftentimes I feel like we're having the same thought at the same time. Sure. I was thinking, like, yes. Mm -hmm. And then she clicks on a button. Yeah. And it asks Boom. She, she doesn't she even shows me anymore. Show me that S. Yeah. 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 Show me that S. I mean, we fucked, but, like, you know, <laughs> before then it was just kind of this awkward thing. All right, go. All right, Justin, the Rolling Stones. Ooh, this is an interesting one. The Rolling Stones. Because they are a little... Fussy British boys. Oh, yeah. Fussy British. Oh, they're so fussy. fussy. We're the fussiest British. Remember, remember when they came to America and they're like, oh, you thought the Beatles were fussy? Yeah. You haven't seen any fussy. Hey, so fussy. <laughs> we're fussy. Look at us. Mm, mm. <laughs> and they all, they all did that. And it was like this was most of their act. Yeah, yeah. No music. Yeah. They would go three but, hours without eventually, playing a single eventually note. Eventually, somebody said, you "I'm so fussy. Oh, <laughs> I'm a fussy British boy. I'm Mick <laughs> Jagger. Eventually, oh. eventually, their manager said, you should have a song.' And they're like, "Okay, I got one. Start the fuss. <laughs> Start the fuss. Don't ever stop the fuss." <laughs> I'm so fast. <laughs> I'm so fast. I've never been more fast. Oh, awfully sus. <laughs> I make a fast so wild. I'm just singing the song. All right. Uh, the Rolling no, Stones. They don't. they don't. You're going to say no. Yeah. Your answer is. I shoot a blunderbuss. <laughs> okay, like, when you, when you, when when you talk over me doing the sounds, I have to hit them a million times. <laughs> Correct the mundo. They do not have a star. That's a Justin point. Oh. Yeah, they're too fussy. Too fussy. <laughs> too fussy. They tried to do it and they couldn't hit the capture because they were too fussy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, here's one for you. 
It's 1968. The captain, the captain joke fucking kills Brian. It's 1968. <laughs> and did somebody even... Or can you figure out the capture? <laughs> it's like, it's me, the still alive Franklin Delano Roosevelt. <laughs> and you boys are about to have a star on the walk of fame. All you have to do is solve a capture. <laughs> <laughs> What's a capture, FDR? <laughs> I don't... I, 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 <laughs> I'm dead. Oh no! Oh, we dead. killed FDR, boys. Oh, no. oh, blokes, we're really in it now. We know we can solve this capture. <laughs> Don't Knock fuss on. out, <laughs> sir. Your eight o'clock with the Beatles is oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. Here we go. Uh, 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 lightning round. Lightning round here, Brian. Ready? Winnie the Pooh. Nope. Winnie the Pooh does have a walk of oh, wow. fame star. Wow. Seven Acre Woods. Oh, bother. on that ass. Right. Uh, so that's a no for Brian. Justin. Yep. Guy Fieri. Uh, most definitely has a donkey sauce covered <laughs> flavored donkey town sauce. enabled star on the Hollywood Walk of Motherfucking Fame. Come yeah. mm. 2019. Drivers, dives, dives dildos. Dildos, dildos, and dead ass. And dead, That's yeah. what he fucking yeah. wrote yeah. in da 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 Danger Zone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. Yep. Uh, here's one for you. Tom Kenny. Oh, my God. SpongeBob SquarePants himself. I swear to God, I will pull off Justin's shirt if he doesn't. He's the Ice King. Too. And and your answer is yes. He better. <laughs> for I, also, yes, all of us. I have my shirt on. I guess, I guess so. All right. That answer is. And you Incorrect. No star, star for Tom <laughs> Kenny. Here we go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. I would never have. Show that <laughs> asshole. Here we go. For those audio <laughs> listeners, he's legitimately not only God torn my shirt <laughs> off, he's now putting it on to show supremacy. He's the alpha on stage he's now. He's the alpha. <laughs> so sorry. I'm now, I'm now been, I've been so bumped sorry. out the pecking order of this show. A Rivian <laughs> queen <laughs> now is sharing the same <laughs> dream. God, great Mr. Oh. Joe Ked with Tom Kenny. Oh. I'm kidding. Justin. <sighs> yeah. Harry Houdini. Uh, he does 100%. Yes. Uh, your answer of yes is. Correct the mundo. Correct the mundo, <laughs> Harry Houdini, given in 19. Doesn't matter what you write about me, just spell my name right. Harry Houdini quote. There we go. All right. Uh, before we do our final round, Brett, Press what are hope. the scores? Press well, hope. the scores, Taking my friends. Elbow. Is uh, Brian, you have four points. Mm. Justin, <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Justin, you have 13 points. I have 13 points, but Brian has is my shirt now tied up as if he is uh, at a country themed Hooters restaurant. <laughs> Uh, He's serving I'll, I'll early Britney Spears, and looks. he is now gyrating sensually. All he needs are Daisy Dukes now. He does, yeah. I'm just Brian, saying. <laughs> your man Jeff in the chat, Brian, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brian, bitch. <laughs> All right, we've got our final round here. This is for. It, it actually looks too good. Like, it, it looks decent, is the unfortunate decent. thing. It looks decent. Um, all right, uh, we are points. going to our final ten point round. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, you guys are both getting. Is that is that even enough to get me back at the game? Yes, it, it could be. Okay. You'll go first. Um, uh, in fact, you'll go, and Justin will have to take the opposite. Oh. Um, we are going. Ah, here we go. Tell me, does <laughs> Brian is still swaying still his hips in a very and I'm very on screen, and it looks matter. like he's gyrating toward. Get it it does. Happy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, would this make you more comfortable? Yes, quite a lot. Well, yeah. oh, well, no. all right. Now we're just getting into very weird territory. <laughs> Brian. You look good. Keep going. Does Daffy Duck have a Hollywood Walk of Fame star? Daffy Duck ain't no real duck. 
Of course, I got a star. All right, he's saying yes, Justin. That's gonna mean you're gonna have to take the no. I mean, I get, I got my fucking shirt taken. <laughs> my my masculinity has been transformed into a gyrating Brian Brushwood. Uh, so I guess uh. I'm just along for the fucking ride. So yeah, uh, Daffy Duck. Uh, 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 don't zoom in on his pelvis. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, it was instinct. I saw I had a shot. <laughs> I could take the shot. Yeah, I should have been no. a sniper. Uh, uh, apparently it's much. duck season. Uh, although I am praying for rabbit season. Daffy Duck does not have a star. Oh! Justin is your winner today. Well, it was a good game. We had a lot of fun. Uh, let's call it a night. Wait, hold on, Brian. <laughs> well, actually, I think mm. I think uh, we're we're gonna need to go ahead and get uh, Jomo up. Oh here. yeah, no no no, Jomo will come on next. It'll be, uh, it's gonna be uh, great. No 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 no, you have to sing a song, Jomo. Come on over here. Yeah, right, have your, yeah, your, your mic I'll, over I'll here. Sing a song of sixpence. Can you get around? Pocket full of rye. Or oh no, here you want to you want to move move mics move mics yeah. down move mics down. Yeah. Sure sure no, no, sure. No, we got you. No, I'm entirely sure why I'm still here. <laughs> I think you need to stay up on. Stay, stay up on the. Oh, uh, oh. All right, so uh, uh, <clears throat> Brian, you have to come up with a song. Brett, you have to give Brian the theme of this song. The theme of yeah. the song, so not the style, but the theme. or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Oh, style. oh, oh, yeah. Style now you're gonna do Jomo's job too, huh? I'm not What's next? You're gonna put all our names on the Walk of Fame? Don't act like that. Go I got them theme, 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 We theme. got what this is, event, is, is the money. The song is, uh, 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 it should be, I think it should be a children's song. A children's song? Yes. Okay. Uh, and, and give me one word that he needs to say. Asshole. <laughs> a children's song that has the word asshole in it, Brian. Uh... Jomo will play along with it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the musical stylings of Brian Brush. Gather round, children. I want to tell you a cautionary tale about somebody who is a real asshole. <laughs> well, this guy named Justin was up on stage. Kept on running his mouth off, putting Brian in a rage. Then one day, little weakling Brian punched upstairs. Barely nicked him. He tossed back his hair. <laughs> Justin took his big old fat foot and stomped. Brian was defeated. Nothing rhymes with that. <laughs> but then one day, he discovered Soylent. Uh, <laughs> got real big and strong. Became irrationally violent. <laughs> he kicked an old lady over and said, I love Soylent. He stole a car and punched another old lady. I love Soylent. He murdered a bunch of people, thrashed their bodies all around. He committed cannibalism all over town. Then the folks from Soylent, <laughs> they came over and said, you're great. We'd like to pay you for your adventures. If you could just tone down the hate. <laughs> well, Brian thought a bit about that. Cooked himself another batch. <laughs> I don't really know how Soylent's made. Anyway, he drank a whole bunch more Soylent. And then he hatched a plan. This is how it went. <laughs> I'll get my revenge on Justin because of Soylent. <laughs> All the world's hostage because of Soylent. I'm gonna kick over the Exxon Valdez because the look at all that oil spent. Anyway, thank you, Soylent. Use promo code Great Night. <laughs> no, no. Children's song, huh? <laughs> About an asshole. Look, man, children's song. He turned I, it into I, native I, content. I, I, no, I, I think I, I could, I could see Raffy, you know, getting the kids clapping along to that. That's a good one. This is about halfway. I that was a good one. No, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Brushwood. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, no, what wait, a wait. good, what a good, uh, what a good sport.
Wait, wait, hold on. Jomo, 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 Jomo. You don't get to, oh, yeah, to no, 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 pretend yeah, like up, you were never on the show. Yeah, sorry. You're on the uh, show now. Uh, uh, Jomo, um, I, there was a great moment when we were in the green room, which, uh, of course, everybody can download uh, as a separate episode, uh, where I saw people in the chat room, as soon as they saw you in there, they were like, oh, my God, Jomo, two weeks in a row. The fact that you are a regular uh, uh, appearance here on this show is thrilling i know to us but also the audience did the inflection come through when they said oh my god was it like oh my god, oh my god. no oh my god. yeah no it, was, it, was, it wasn't lowercase all put together no spaces yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 okay. for what it's worth i've learned to not question it either way <laughs> as long it. as they're spelling your name right yeah, yeah. this was actually a, a, thing, a thing that brian and i had because somebody on reddit mentioned world's greatest con <laughs> yes and i sent i sent uh, it was like somebody who was like oh i downloaded world's greatest con uh, uh, and now I want more episodes. And Brian, of course, honed in on the thing he said after I listened to World's Greatest Con, and he was like, "It was good." And uh, I'm like, "Okay, so what? Oh, what yeah. you sent me was holy shit." Uh, somebody said, "Listen to World's Greatest Con. It was pretty good. I want much more from this <laughs> franchise. Can, who else or what else can you recommend?" Yeah. Right. Justin hits me up with, uh, "Oh my god, we we're are a genre, we're a baby. genre, right?" And I respond with. I'd have words with pretty good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then I'm like, no, relate. it's the internet. If they mention your name and don't say that you suck ass, <laughs> it's a gold medal. Yeah. You've yeah. won. Yeah. That's it. That's all that matters. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, you got a song. Yeah, I got a song. And uh, uh, all we've heard is that it is an environmental yeah. conscious oh, sure. rockabilly song. Yeah. Does okay. it mention the ex on Valdez? Because <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't want to spoil it, but somebody just stole your meat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it could. It should. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Uh, all right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jomo! <laughs> My love is like styrofoam, baby. Baby, it don't decompose. My love is like soiling, baby. Baby, it don't decompose. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like a big old hole in the ozone, baby. It just grows and 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 grows. And grows yeah. My love is just like a plastic six pack holder, mama. Choking out a turtle in the bayou. My love is like the Exxon Valdez, baby. Strangling the pelicans down in the bayou. <laughs> you know, I love all them little critters, but I straight up murder them all just to get beside you. Oh, yeah. On the side of the road like a whiskey bottle like a cigarette but like another band's handbill come on baby adopt my highway pick it up bring my love home dump it right in your landfill baby my love because of my love is just like styrofoam baby 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 it don't decompose yeah, my love is like styrofoam, baby, 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 don't decompose, no, 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 no. It's just like a trash can at a festival, baby, my love overflows, yeah. My love's like Exxon Valdez, baby, ooh, a shit overflows and blows. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jomo, you guys, uh, the Possum Posse, you and the Possum Posse have a Patreon, right? Yes. Where can people find that? Patreon, the Possum Posse. I think there's a slash 
in there. There's probably a slash. It's not the guy you're thinking slash. of, though. It's uh, yeah. It's it's not that guy with no. the, that cool hat and stuff. Not with the hat. No, uh, uh, I think it's a forward slash. Maybe it's a backslash. I don't know. Try but both. If, if you look try up, both. If you look up the Patreon, if you look up the Possum Posse on Patreon, it's it's we're one of the most <laughs> more one of the first results. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> It's patreon.com slash the possum posse. Yeah. Uh, got, it. got it. And you guys have a a pretty amazing event coming up in the next few weeks, right? Yeah. We have our first ever Patreon party, house party. It's uh we're gonna have a house that we've rented with a PA system built into the house. I don't know how they did it, but it is. And there's a piano over there. It's basically uh, a house custom made for house concerts. And we're going to have uh, people come in to uh, hang with us. We're going to play some songs, play play a little bit. We've got some drinks available. And then we're going to yep. hit the town and hit some uh, some of our favorite bars to have some drinks. And so this is in Austin. It's in Austin. What on the, day? On August 27th, which is a Friday. And yep. uh, it should be a blast. It's going to be a blast. Yeah. I'm, I'm very gonna excited for it. Of course I will. Uh, Brian will be there. And uh, uh, if you are in... Obviously, if you're in Austin, but fuck, Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, uh, uh, Anchorage, Alaska, you better get your ass down here. And the only thing that you need to do is be a well, patron of your Patreon. Yeah, right? I mean, technically, there's like a $10 level of joining Patreon that you're supposed to get this at. But my thing is, like, you should join and then just unjoin the next month. And you're basically buying a $10 ticket to the show. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just screw us over. I don't really care. Now, you know Jomo, I mean? I'm looking at this. This says you need to be a ten thousand dollar per. Is that is that? I cool? mean, that would be cool, but I don't. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's at ten bucks, and you know what? It's super flexible because we I don't might, get I, might, I might I might need to help Jomo with the Patreon. Yeah, I, if that if that's what it says. I think that's like you get your own party. Like oh. we will throw you a party. Oh, gotcha. Oh yeah. You gotta shoot that. high. You gotta there shoot you go. high. There you oh, go. Also, Two also. Remaining. Uh, uh, for the record, you could probably book the Boston Bossy for less than ten thousand no, dollars. No, no, that's kind of our deal, man. What? That's it. You don't know what we get paid. We play a lot of <laughs> we play a lot of shitty dive bars. All of them cranking out tens of thousands of dollars. Ten k. We only sold four tickets, but we're gonna we're gonna yeah. need that. You Come on that in. Come on yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, 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 I, I cannot wait for this this uh, event. It's going to be super fun, and you guys are great in small venues i feel like venues yeah. where people actually give a shit uh yeah. this is going to be the ultimate version of that i'm i'm pumped about it because it's uh there may not be you know it's not gonna be a huge deal we are kind of limited because it's a small house but uh that's my favorite way to play it's just like people you can get the reaction from them real time and it's uh yeah intimate and people are gonna know the shit they're gonna yeah. know the songs they're gonna be yeah. dialed in it's gonna hope be fun so. i hope they do uh yeah and we play some weird shit too. You know, we're gonna play some, some uh, the stuff that we don't necessarily get to play everywhere at, so, like yeah. you know, a and, venue and somebody, or a bar. Or something yeah, like that. and somebody at the front can go, "Hey, quit playing that song." And we'll go, "Okay, yeah, just, <laughs> play this song instead." We'll go, okay, fine. Okay, sure. There's yeah. just two of us here, so yeah. Uh, I don't know much about the next song you're gonna play here on the show, uh, except to say that it is, uh, it's apparently got some speed to it. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say it's yeah. Get a little. It's got a little. That's all little I was told. Heat. I was yeah. I was told that that it's it's uh it, yeah. it's gonna get you going whether it's you want a, to or not. Yeah, exactly. All right, here you go, Jomo. Well, I don't sleep at night no matter how hard I try. I'm wired. I'm restless, and I just can't keep my thoughts straight. My eyes are red and bloodshot and my skin's starting to crawl. I'm talking to myself and losing weight. Girl, ever since I met you, I'm in heaven. And somehow I've been put in charge up there and I'm raining down fury from above. <laughs> I'm tearing off my pants in the middle of the street, peeing on the passing cars. Oh, I'm hooked on meth, and also I'm in love. <laughs> yeah, I'm hooked on meth, and also I'm in love. 
I've got you under my skin like a creepy ass bug. I'm losing my teeth, yeah, but I can still express. I'm hooked on meth and also I'm in love. I lost a tooth while eating mashed potatoes. And I've lost plenty of teeth before, but never in food so creamy. My daily conversation with my neighbor's fish was cut short today when I got distracted by a pretty cool bird on TV and fed a mean dream. Sorry I fell asleep just now. It was you I was dreaming of. I can't live without you. And also, can I borrow like $45? I'm hooked on meth and also I'm in love. Yeah, I'm hooked on meth and also I'm in love. Like the beauty of some weird ass tweaked out dove. I'm losing my teeth, yes. But I can still express. I'm so hooked on meth and also I'm in love. Oh, I'm hooked on meth and also I'm in love. Hi. Thank you. Oh, thank, you. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh uh man, the most embarrassing thing that happened tonight was that we clapped on the ones and threes. <laughs> it's I always mean, you hard to it, clap. It's like the internet com it's like the internet compliment thing. I mean, it's like people are clapping. That's right. Yeah, just just I'm don't pay attention to that. the pronunciation. It's, it's <laughs> it just uh yeah, it, the number one uh pro tip, it's hard to get a clap going when you're trying to hold the <laughs> yeah, with yeah. your forearm because yeah, you can't yeah. do it. Also when you're on age. meth and in love. <laughs> yeah. Your heart goes all all the Twitter. Uh, that is true. Hey, uh, Justin, what did we learn tonight? Oh my God, we learned that uh, a bit.ly slash Help Mike TV is the only oh, place you need to go to make sure that a hero of every version of this show is taken care of. Please go there right now. Give whatever you can. A dollar fifty cents. It all matters. Uh, uh, thank you guys uh, so much for helping them out. Uh, yeah, we also learned that uh, I, 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 you can become very strong uh, if you drink your meals. We also learned <laughs> ovum team. <laughs> ovum team? Ovum aid? Ovum so I don't know. Uh, look, uh, still a great night. Love you guys. Uh, shout out, you crazy diamonds! Woo! <laughs> Walk away, slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly. Feels just the same. Oh, gray night. You keep me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never. A single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>